guys, this is Amy Linden. I started this podcast for you because I am here to help empower you because you are enough. I am here to help you get to the next level in your career. And most of the times, it has everything to do with what you think about yourself. I am a booking coach, celebrity booking coach, 54 plus network series regulars, an Emmy winner, an Imogen winner, and thousands of people working around the globe, all because of this technique that I created. I really wanna help you. So I do believe that if you keep listening, You might pick up some gem that I am dropping down and it will change the course of your entire career. My uncle's in the business. And you know, it's a fallacy when they say nepotism, that your family will help you if they're in the business. The truth of the matter is he didn't do diddly squat for me, okay? Like nothing goose egg zero zip if anything he was extremely harmful to me he got me this audition once and now now this taught me this lesson taught me about interviewing and how to get your interview down what they call your elevator pitch so i was 21 he sends me down for a casting call to meet these casting directors for this big feature that they're casting in which Deborah Winger at the time ended up booking the main role. And I go down there, I'm thinking I'm meeting casting. They didn't have sides or anything. So I thought it was just an interview with the casting director. Hey, what's up? I'm 21, blah, 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 right? So then the casting director says, right this way, you're going to be meeting Francis Ford Coppola. I was like, what? (laughs) What? Okay, so how many things went wrong? All right. So I go in there and I sit down and I go, I really like the Godfather. I mean, like an idiot. Like, how many people have said that to him? Like a million trillion by that time. I mean, like, so stupid. And later on, I find out that he actually hires people from their interview. They don't audition, they just interview. So as you can imagine, I didn't get that job. That taught me at that time that you have to be prepared. You have to always be prepared. Always, always, always. And just when you think you're prepared, something else happens, you know? So that's why I was always really clear with my people before they went to meet with agents and managers or casting directors to have at least a one minute, tell me about yourself and don't talk about acting. And please do your research on the people. I mean, I I should have known immediately what that interview might have been about. I just left it up to my uncle, you understand? His track record at that point was not that great anyway. And here I was still like, please help me. You know, I was always reaching to him to please I am this lonely actor. I need help, right? And and it, it was never happening. And how many times do we do that? How many times do we reach to other people for help and they're continuously letting us down? And he was no exception. I, I mean, there were like, I could name like five to 10 other times. And so finally I told him to go fuck himself. Like, sort of. In my own way, I didn't, uh, what I, that's what really what I wanted to say. He was the executive producer of Rocky. I mean, it doesn't get bigger than that. He was good friends with Stallone. He rewrote the script with him, brought it to Warner Brothers, and he was responsible for Sylvester Stallone playing Rocky because he was the one that said, we're not, we're not going to do it with you unless he plays Rocky. And so he was the executive producer of Rocky. He brought it to Warner Brothers. Charter Winkler was the company, and they... Got it made. And Rocky wasn't even supposed to be this big thing. It was so low on their totem pole of of movies that were going to, like their slates, so low. It was what what they call a sleeper hit. They didn't even give it much money. It was really an indie film. So you never know, guys. But what I will tell you is this, is that if you keep reaching for someone to help you, you will always be disappointed. And you know, that's a big part of this booking philosophy. If you keep reaching for someone to help you with your read, you're always going to lose. The casting director's job is not to help you 
Their job is to discover you, to find you, to cast you. A quarter of my series regulars, I have 53 series regulars, two, three are on the air right now. Out of all the series regulars, a quarter of them have no other training other than the Linden technique. How is that possible? Because it's called the 15 guideline map to booking, right? And you know, it, and I deal with a lot of people with a lot of training, a lot of training. There's not a lot of people that I get as fresh meat, okay? I love fresh meat. I just want you to know, love fresh meat. Uh, but I also love the challenge of taking somebody who's getting a lot of callbacks in the armed booking or who's just sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired and they're absolutely open to cracking the code to booking for themselves. Because it is a code. You know that, right? It's a code. It's simple in its understanding, complex in its application. The reason why it's complex in the application is because it can't just be it. What I say is what I say, really? <laughs> it can't just be that. <laughs> yeah, that, that's all it is. Person with the strongest point of view, the strongest approach, the strongest understanding of story, the strongest sense of power within themselves. Those are the people that are working. You have no idea how much of success comes from being your own cheerleader. Because if you didn't get it as a kid, then it wasn't instilled in you at a very young age that you are amazing and successful and you're going to be amazing and successful in whatever you do. So as actors, we're already empaths to begin with. We're busy pleasing freaking people going, please tell me what you're looking for because I'll just give it to you. Instead of saying, no, motherfucker, I'm here. All of you can go home. And that comes from the confidence of the way that you're raised when you could stand up and be counted. So all of you as potential booking sluts, because that's what you're going to be, you're going to be a booking slut. If you hang out with me, you will be. And that comes from your self-esteem and your understanding that you are a gift and that your art is a gift and that whatever you bring is going to be a very strong way to go. That is what makes you who you are. But what are we doing? We're always making ourselves so freaking vanilla. And most of my notes to people is, you're not hitting it hard enough. And what does that come from? I don't believe in myself. I don't believe in my choices. I don't believe that I am the one for this job. And I'm telling you, it came from the fact that you didn't have pom-pom parents. So you are going to have to be the pom-pom. You are going to have to pump yourself up. Why do I talk about this? Because I'm always in the mirror going, yeah, let's go. Let's go, Amy, you could do this. Let's go. I mean, I'm, I'm doing this to myself. I didn't have pom-pom parents. When my parents came to see a play, I'm sorry, mom, got exposed. They didn't come for me. They came because they knew they were going to have a party at the house after. So what they did, it was their event for the night. Honestly, they, they rented a bus. So all of their friends got on the bus to go to the play. And then they were going to come back to the house for a party that I wasn't even invited to. Would you call them pom-pom parents? Absolutely not. Did they go to my play? Yeah. Did they say it was great? Yeah. But were they pom-pom parents? No. When I was a manager, the people that made it the fastest didn't necessarily have the best credits. Or they weren't always the most beautiful. They were the ones that had pom-pom parents. So you guys are going to need to be your pom-pom parent. And what does that include? That includes respecting yourself as an artist and not allowing sabotage 
to get in the way every time you have an audition. I hope you love this as much as I love doing this for you. Stop worrying about the other guys. They should be worried about you. You wanna be hot. Become a booking machine. So hit like, make a comment, and subscribe. Share it with a friend.